Hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. Today we're going to go through and I'll just give you a bit of a rundown on how I like to tape up the brick wall. So a lot of the time, just a normal masking tape is not going to do the job. So I like to always use cloth tape. It's high tack. You know, it doesn't leave residue, well it will leave residue if you do leave it on out in the sun, but today we're inside and we're doing a brick wall so we haven't got to worry about that. So we're going to go through and tape all this brick wall up. Throw that away. So always start from where you're gonna go in the corner. So you wrap it around here. Always leave yourself just enough so you can run a bit of tape coming down this edge. Tape it up across here. What I like to do as well, when I'm doing anything like this, I don't like to leave do gaps in between. So when you're spraying, um, have it separated can cause a lot of drama spray can come in between so I always just pull it out enough so I can step down and I'll grab my ladder walk across and then you can stand back up so you don't have to break uh, your plastic or your tape and paper so this time also we're gonna have to go around so we'll make sure we pull it enough out so we can go around the barbecue or the fireplace as I should say. So we will step around on this one, go through. Just make sure you always go over it and lay off or tip off where you have marked up. And then just bring and top down. Pull it around. Do it in one length as well. When you deep mask, you can just pull it all off in one go instead of a break it out as well. So it saves time doing it like this. Deep masking as well. This has got high tack, so sometimes it will stick to the paper, well, to the plastic. I've, what I've done as well, I've just showed you, because I wanted to do this in the video. See how I've, I've over, um, sort of done my length, so you can see how it's gonna be over onto the next wall. So if you do that, this happens with tape, paper, anything you're taping up, you can sort of just fold it back on itself, like this, get your measurement to where you want it, and then just tack it back down, like that. So that's all you, all you pretty much need to do. We are gonna put a piece of quad across this top as well, so it doesn't matter too much, but what I wanna do now, I just drop it down, a lot of the time, so you don't want to put too much, you know, you don't want to go tugging on too hard. You just want to sort of hold what you're doing so it doesn't pull away from the surface. And you don't pull off any of your tape. So if I try to pull this all down now here, right, we'll probably pull down, down that section, section. So you just want to work, go the whole way along with it. You can get different size plastics as well. I always usually like to run the 2.7 drop because you can always have it shorter or you can pull it out to as much as you need. Pull it all the way down like that. Fold in any of the areas. And then you can just run a strip 
down the corner. Any areas that are, are coming out like that, see this area like this, so it's going, just, just fold it in, you've got a nice strip that you can just tack it straight into this corner. And then you can just hold it down and you can just sort of line it up with what you're doing. As you go along. Just pull it off at the bottom down here. Good thing with tack tape as well, uh, with cloth tape. It breaks in a straight line, as you can see. So when I'm when I'm taping anything like that, I always put my hand behind like that, and then when you pull it, you can get a nice straight line. So that's that's really good with this stuff. So you can do it. I'll quickly show this as well. When you're doing it with the mask, it's harder to get a straight line, but you can get a pretty straight line with the mask, with the mask and tape as well. You just have to learn to cut it, sort of use your finger as a straight edge and cut it like that. So I'll just tape up this corner. The good thing about it too, you might run short, you might you might sometimes have a bit too much, a bit too too less. As long as you wrap it around, see all this is going to take. There's two runs. So we just wrap, we'll just, we'll just go down it twice. Oh, that's probably a bad spot to stand. Doesn't take much. So I'll just break that off there. And then I'll just go again. Well, it looks like it's gonna need three. So that's a good thing about this, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have it all taped up, that's um, the main objective, right? Make sure you tuck it right around this corner. If you have to, make sure, just grab the tape like that, grab the plastic, and then sort of you can pull it around with it. And just tape it to the ground. I've actually done really bad on this one because usually I get it straight to the corner, but you, know, you can't win them all right. But just make sure it's all tucked down. Make sure there's no areas down the bottom or anything like that. It's completely covered up. And then that's pretty much it, peeps. So that's the wall completely taped up. We're all ready to go. We can start spraying now. Don't have to worry about getting any paint or uh, dust or anything on our brickwork. Appreciate you all tuning in. Hope you find this useful. Respect. Mm -hmm.